Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can animate the city building up. All right, so let's start here with uh, going through all the layers we have. We have this background layer, this is black, and we have, I've divided them all into groups already, so every color here is its own building. So first off, we have this orange one, or which is it? Yeah, it's in the back here, this big one. Uh, so everything is here is um, divided into separate layers. Every most of the windows are separate layers. In this case, they aren't. But in this case, uh, you know, this this is separate. This is separate. This is separate. All of them have separate uh, layers. You can go all the way and actually make these four separate as well. But then it takes uh, even longer. And I don't have the time of the world right now to do this. And then at the top here we have the floor line and the foreground. It's just this black shape just to kind of hide all that stuff. So what I'm going to do is to animate this line here first. Let's just um, lock the foreground layer and go to the floor line and open this up and add a trim path effect. So it's going to grow out. So I'm going to start here at, let's say, one second. I'm going to get a keyframe for start and end. And I'm going to go back and then put them both at 50. So now this line, let me just... Uh, solo this these three dots we only see those kind of grows out from the middle like that so give that some easing I'm using flow for that this plugin which makes it a lot quicker like that so that's a nice opening there Let's cut the layer off right there so this is kind of our base level cool I'm going to uh, lock that and then let's start with our first layer, our first building. I'm going to select all the orange ones and then just uh, solo them as well. So I see that as well. This one is um, orange, but I don't think it needs to be orange. Because I think these ones... No, I don't know. This one doesn't belong here. Just turn it off right now. Maybe I did a, uh, did a color coding a bit wrong. So we have these layers. We have this pink shape, this white, and then this kind of goldish... Um, uh, roof and then we have all of these windows so first off I'm going to parent all of the windows to this layer so that's layer number 63 all right and I'm parent them to this one so this now controls that whole thing and we're going to let's see what we're going to do we're going to give this a position keyframe and this one as well and maybe parent some stuff together yes because i want everything kind of to grow in from the bottom kind of to, to the city to grow onto the screen and because this is a, a a building in the background maybe we could do it a little bit easier and quicker because it's just a little bit less noticeable i'm going to put our um, emphasis on the front buildings in front so i'm going to uh, give this a position and Let's see. Yeah, just give it a little bit of a twist. So um, this one, we're going to um, open this up. Contents, group one, and then the path. And we're going to animate the path here. Click, and then turn that. Let's just put it over there. And then uh, create a new keyframe for the path here. So we have two keyframes. And this one, I'm going to go for P for position. And Turn it over there, place it over there, and then we're going to parent the this uh, layer 64, so the side here, to that 63, and then the little roof, we're going to parent that to layer number 63 as well. So now this layer controls everything. So I'm going to place that down, all the way down here, so it's off screen, and then give this some easing, kind of make it pop up into the screen like this. Yeah, that's nice. So it pops up. And um, while this is doing it, I want these windows to also get a light, little a little bit of movement up. So get them a position keyframe. Turn that to over there. And then just place them down a bit. And then I'm going to uh, so, oops, select all of them and then give them some easing as well. Cut the layer off right there. And then just put all of them one frame after each other. Yeah, and then retime that. So I'm going to put it right over here. So we get a little nice, nice little extra movement there. And then we're going to give this, uh, animate this one, um, close it up. This has a press U on the keyboard to open all your keyframes. And we're going to zoom in here. And if this, I want this kind of to give this a 3D turn effect. Turn, turn effectish, turn something. And so I'm going to um, animate the 
um, I'm going to put this keyframe over there and we're going to take this and this and this. Oops. Oh, 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 I lost it. Uh, <laughs> uh, these three holding shift. Yeah. I'm going to zoom in and I want these two kind of go in here and then deselect this one and then make them go in a little bit more like that. Yeah, and then for the roof, we're going to do the same here. So open this up, contents, group one, path one, and then place that over there. And then here, I'm going to yeah, select these two, and I'll drag that over here. Nice, and then give them the same easing. So now we can see that this kind of grows out here, which looks really cool. So we're gonna open this up, press U to see where the keyframe is over there. I want to match these to that position and give these to the which easy was this? Yeah, it was the same as that. All right, so now they're all easy in the same way. So now you get this little bit of a 3D effect. Maybe I can try to put this a little bit later. Yeah, so that looks quite nice like that. Cool. So that's a little a nice effect. Where does this start? over there i like to cut off these layers so i know uh, where they begin and then i'm going to press command shift c and type this in uh, let's make this uh, building a one all right click on that so now this one is done finished and done so we're going uh, un uh, isolate that and lock it and then go on with the next one and i think i've isolated that extra layer that we put in there yeah okay we'll see about that later um then we'll do we're gonna do these buildings so let's just turn them off and let's see let's do some cooler ones first let's just get this big one out of the way this blue one here okay so click and then this and these ones so i just want to get some more you know some, some wiggle i can i can see it a bit better if everything is turned off like this so we have all of this we have this uh chimney chimney the side panel the front panel of the house the roof these windows they are separate but not fully separate and we have this and this and this all of the same kind of uh, idea here as, as the first building so um let's just do the same thing here we're also going to make this uh, the, the same kind of a 3d effect but in this case it's a bit um, more noticeable because it's a really it's a way bigger building so we're going to parent uh, these to this shape this is uh, layer 41 so let's select these two and parent them to layer 41 so this now controls those let's parent the windows to that one as well and the chimney let's do that as well yeah i think we could do that yeah let's parent everything to layer number 41 and then this one we're going to do yeah the same thing actually we're going to parent all of this let's just parent everything to layer 41 so we can control we can change it up later so here we're going to do the same thing position and go back a little bit turn this down all the way give this some easing so that kind of pops up nice that looks good all right and then these windows we're going to do the same thing here position And we're gonna animate those from down here. Cut the layer off. Maybe a little bit later. Yeah, and then these two can be a little bit later. We have some offset. Nice, okay. Let's just keep it simple and easy, right? So because if everything is moving uh, later, then it looks really complicated and, and cool. But now we don't have to do go all out on every layer here. The chimney, we can move that up as well. Give this a little up movement. So it's kind of like this, starts over there. Cut it off right here. Cutting it off is option and then in bracket. That's the shortcut for that. Which I use on the daily. Can be a bit sooner. Yeah, and because this is, uh, it kind of pops in here. And I think that this is con um, blocked by the building in front of it, so you don't see that. So I think we're good here. Otherwise, we can always put it earlier here like that. But just, I'm gonna, I like it like this, like in the timing that it comes a little bit later than the house itself. 
And then here we're going to do the same thing as the building in the back, just give it a little bit of a 3D effect. So open this up, go to transform group one, path one, path, create a keyframe, like that, all right. And then we're going to select these three and drag them in and then deselect this one because I want them so kind of the same, yeah, like that. And then for this one, we're going to do the same as well, of course. This little house, contents group one, path one, click. And then drag that over there, so we're in the same spot. And here at the beginning, just these two lines need to, let's zoom in here, need to align with this house over there. Great, and then give them some easing. Let's see how this looks. Nice, all right, so let's time that here. I think we can do this a little bit earlier. Oh, whoa, whoa. that went wrong. So let's see how we can animate this one. We can kind of do the same thing here. It can already be attached to the roof or we can give it a separate little animation. Uh, first off, we do need to get this kind of, uh, the, the, the um, the angle right because now it looks it, it looks really disconnected so let's just do that first and we can maybe it can just easily pop up we don't have to go all out on this um, which are these two there you go content group one path contents group one path all right and then let's check where this keyframe ended right there so let's put those at that point and then where it started was here the first keyframe for those two so now we're just going to select this and kind of try to align match this vertical uh, or this the shape here can drag it over and check if it if it's or it's perfect okay wow i'm a genius so and these two um, drag those in here. Oh, that's a bit too much. Nice. Okay, and then give this that easing as well. So now it should look okay. Yep, all right. And then. Um, we're going to just press U to close everything up. I'm going to parent this whole thing. So parent this roof and this window to this pink shape. I think it's this one. Yeah. So this now controls the, all of those. So I'm going to give this some little position. So I give this a position and it needs to end. Uh, I think it can end a bit more in the middle here, which I like. Uh, oh, at this stage here. So when the, when the house is fully built, Turn a bit to the right even, and then when it's over there, let's turn it to the left. Maybe that's cool, I don't know, we'll see. That's cool, all right. We have a nice little uh, little pop-up there. Cool, I think that's fine. We're gonna leave it at that, because otherwise we'll be here for hours. Okay, so select all of the blue shapes here. So we have everything, right? Yeah, and let's uh, Command Shift C and let's call this Building 02. Cool, let's turn everything off here again or unisolated. So now we have these two buildings kind of pop up into the screen. Really nice. So that's the basic idea of this. Um, you know, animate all of these houses in the same way and you get a full anim building animation. And um, if you want to watch the full thing, because here you can see the full animation of this uh, whole thing. If you want to see everything I did here, all, how I animated all of these separate layers, you can uh, watch that on Patreon. If you support me there, you can get full videos, um, exclusive videos or extended videos. So ex uh, like this one. So the extended one is on Patreon right now. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.